The beer of the today was supposed to be a sweet and sour beer by Oast House Brewing. However, that vlog got completely fucked up. So, um, yeah, here's the next one in the line. What be going down, people of the world? My name is Redbeard, and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We've got a bottle of Terrestrial India Brown Ale by the Wellington Brewery. Yeah, the Oast House beer that was supposed to be had right now, I gave that I believe a 7, and then my memory card on my GoPro decided to shit the bed, so I've put a new memory card into the GoPro, and I did a little test recording type thing, and it seems to be okay now, and hopefully it'll stay okay, you fucking thing. Sorry, I'm talking to the GoPro. I'm talking to the GoPro, which is also kind of talking to you. Anyway, India Brown Ale, I I don't know. I India Pale Ales, I've come to like. India Red Ales, eh. India Brown Ale, I don't know. Ooh, nice grab. Let's crack her open. And see what we've got. Realize the last couple days I haven't really fucking poured this right in your face like I, like I mean to, you know? I want you to be able to see. See the beer. See the brownness of the beer. Yeah, that's definitely that's definitely a brownie beer. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world going to those who watch my videos. The beer loves you all so very, 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 very much. We get another very, very, very dark beer, so let's... Oh, well, that one's got kind of a really, really deep ruby. Although, I don't know. The light going through the brownness of the beer could just kind of make it look red. I'm not really sure. A little bit of sediment in there. For sure, you can kind of see it. it smells kind of IPA-ish, but kind of not IPA-ish. I, I, I don't know-ish. Let's give her a shot-ish. It's different. Those characteristics of an IPA there, it's kind of got a decent level of bitterness to it. The hoppy bite. Little hoppy bite. The lingering flavors though. Quite smoky. This is kind of like a dark lager but a dark IPA kind of thing. It's not bad. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. It's actually quite carbonated, quite bubbly, which I like. The mingling of the flavors is very unusual. This being the first beer like this I think I've ever really had. So, I don't really like it, but I think it's the kind of thing that I could definitely come around to. I don't hate it. It's just, it's very unusual for my mouth. It's what it is. Not bad. Not bad at all. Today being December 27th, on this date in 1831, Charles Darwin embarked on his journey aboard the HMS Beagle, during which he f began to form his theory of evolution. I almost said relativity. Ha ha ha. Not even close to being the same person. Yeah. But, you know, evolution. It's crazy the number of people. Just thinking of like the states, the number of people in the, in the U.S. that don't believe in it, and are like so absolutely certain that the Bible is, you know, like literal, just fucking uh, go religion. Yeah. yeah. 
On this date in 1932, Radio City Music Hall, dubbed the Showplace of the Nation, opened in New York City. I've been out front of that building, never inside or anything, but I saw it. It was a thing. From the outside, it's not much of a show place. On this date in 1968, Apollo 8 splashed down in the Pacific Ocean, ending the first orbiter on the moon, which I've talked about the last couple days. And there's something kind of in my eye, I'm very sorry, that I keep itching at my eye, like some kind of crazy dog or something, but it's bloody annoying. It wasn't like that when I sat down and began the goddamn vlog. I don't have another beer like this, so I can't, like, you know, you take two of the whole beer. Yep, there's some rambling for you. Yeah, I'm almost positive that if I had a few of these, I'd begin to like them. Oh, yes. This unique beer strikes a beautiful balance of roasted malts and aromatic hops by bringing together the rich malt complexity of an English-style brown ale with five varieties of American-style hops. Chinook, Centennial, Cascade, Sriracha Ace, and Amarillo. Terrestrial India Brown Ale is dark mahogany brown in color with a robust malt body and a pronounced bitter finish. Yeah, pretty much. I just... I don't have these descriptive words in me, kind of thing. 57 IBUs. Uh, ingredients. Water, barley, malt, hops, brewer's yeast. It's 5.9%. And... Oh, yep, there's something on there. It's another one of those... Like, it's a best before date. Bad Wellington. Especially on a India hoppy style beer not even eyelash in my eye it's going great good times yeah it's another one of those ones like i imagine you might kind of see it there kind of but like use a white ink some kind of ink that people can see Yeah, it is what it says it is. I can't deny that. A lot better than what is now the beer of yesterday. Even the sour beer that I had today, the sweet and sour thing. That was... It was okay, but... There was something really, really kind of weird about the flavor of it. It actually would have ended up being a pretty long vlog as well, so I'm not overly unhappy that I lost it forever. I need to... I don't know. If I'm going to drink a, a big beer, like that's a 750, one of the biggest bottle sizes they make as far as mainstream beers go. And, uh, yeah. If I'm going to drink a big one of those to myself, I need to make sure it's going to be a style of beer that I enjoy and I can drink in a timely manner ish that one did not go down in a timely manner at all this acceptable definitely acceptable on this date in 1979 the soviet union invaded the democratic republic of afghanistan oh, blah 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 yeah almost couldn't say afghanistan because my mouth is an asshole no wait that is no that's disgusting I shit out of my mouth Words get shit in my mouth. I don't know. My mouth is a verbal asshole. Blah, 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 blah. Verbal diarrhea coming all the time. Yeah. If you ever saw Rambo 3, I think it was kind of along the lines of that storyline. Because he went and fought with the Afghanistan people against the Russians. Like, the Afghans in that movie were portrayed as, like, the heroes of the day. And... I don't know, that, that movie, I really don't think it would be made now, just because of the whole 9-11, U.S. invading, or 
Iraq and Afghanistan and just all that Middle Eastern insanity. Regardless, Rambo 3, badass fucking movie. Stallone, he's one of my one of my all-time favorite actors, even though he's not, you know, he's not an amazing actor, but he's an amazing action star. I'll give him that, you can't deny that. You can try, but you'd be wrong. So what? There is actually, like, it says on there, English brown ale. I can't describe what I mean by this, but there is something kind of English, European beer style in the, in the overall experience of the beer. According to my mouth and what I've tried throughout this year of beer, the beer year, the year of the beer. Finally on this date, in 2004, radiation from an explosion on the Magnetar SGR-1806-20 reached Earth. Yeah, it's, it's a kind of really different kind of neutron star, I believe is what it was. And it's like 20 kilometers across, diameter. So like, our sun is massive. This one is tiny. and. There was like a, a color of star quake, I guess, like an earthquake kind of thing on the star. And in a tenth of a second, this little tiny, tiny ball of energy released more energy than our sun has released in a hundred thousand years. Yeah. This little fucking thing apparently has a, a magnetic field that is one, no, three to f one to two? Can't remember, one to two or three to four. Quadrillion times what the magnetic field of Earth is. Yeah. And when the star quake happened, it was, uh, it says it, it was the brightest extrasolar event known to have been witnessed on the planet. So, like, it was visible from here when that happened. That'd be pretty crazy to see. Whoa. Excuse me. Wow. Like I said, highly carbonated. It just... That felt really good. That just released, like... I don't know. A bunch of pressure inside. I don't feel nearly as weighed down as I did a second ago. Yeah, anyway. Drink number the last. Yeah. For my first ever beer of that style? If I see another one in that style, I will definitely try it. Wellington Brewery. Brewery. Wellington Brewery. Your terrestrial India brown ale. Rating. Look at that sold seven. It was unusual, so, you know, like I said, I want to try more will go up and I'll like it more and stuff. This whole thing is just based on my mouth's opinion. I am not a professional. And that's gonna do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. If you got something to say to me, then put some comments in the box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A peace out! Quite like the Wellington Brewery. I still have that goddamn can of Russian Imperial Stout from them that I've had for a little while and I'm just fucking terrified to drink. Eventually.